Christianity not too long after Sheikh Yusuf rahimahullah ta'ala between the 1700s and the 1800s one of the kramats that we have just past the Tuwang Nurul Mubin kramat in Camps Bay we have the Tuwang in the grave of Sayyid Ja'far al Aydarus who was a Sayyid Ba'alawi originally from the city of Tarim from the same family of Habib Muhammad that came to this community and connected people to Allah and called people to Allah and taught them the deen and taught them Islam if you move a little bit further until you reach the book up, the very first masjid established in our community, Al Masjid Al Awwal, the first masjid in all of South Africa, built by the great two and guru, Al Sayyid Abdullah bin Qadi Abdi Salam, whose lineage goes back to Sharif Hidayatullah, to Al Azmat Khan, who is from the same city in Tarim. His lineage goes back to the same scholars and the same ulama who lies buried in Tarim, only a kilometer away from the home of Habib Muhammad. When Habib Muhammad came in 2008, and when he finds himself again here in 2024, then he's only re-establishing bonds that his great-grandfathers have been coming to this community and teaching Islam, and our entire practices within our community is based upon their teaching. The compassion and love and understanding, the sa'a, the fact that we have hearts and chests that are open to welcome others, our, 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 our easiness in the practicing of our religion, our pujis in the month of Ramadan, our mauluds in the month of Rabi al-Awwal, our three surah yasin on the night of Laylatul Nisfim in Sha'ban, our gathering that happens on the 27th, uh, sorry, Laylatul, on the 27th of Rajab, the Isra and Mi'raj program, we find all of this coming from our mashayikh and scholars that came from that city and had an impact on our community. So when you read Bukab, the Sayyid Abdullah bin Qadi Abdi Salam, who is a Ba'alawi in terms of his Nasa, next to the grave of Sayyid Tuwanguru, there is the grave of Sayyid, Sayyid Alawi Al-Habshi. Al-Habshi is another branch of the Ba'alawi family. And that's what we find throughout the pages of history, scholars from that community came to our community and connected people to Allah. They never came to spread a tariqah. They never came with any other objective but to connect creation to Allah. So if a person comes and says that, MashaAllah, uh, the mashayikh here are, MashaAllah, bringing new practices to our community, we say, no, no, no. The mashayikh are sons of this community that is walking in the footsteps of the great imams of this community, just re-establishing bonds with great ulama and salihin from the city of Tarim. The last of them was the sahib al-Qubt, 